Hello, Bulldog fans. Keith Carter II, coming to report to you from live from Signius Hall. Uh, we know a lot of you get to see us on the field uh, in Johnson Haygood and see what we do out there. But I uh, just wanted to take a minute to show you what goes on behind the scenes in Signius Hall. Come on in. Hey, let's go upstairs. All right, so in this hallway, we have banners all around the walls that show pretty much every football player that's played here has gone on to play in the National Football League. Uh, some guys more recently that you're probably more familiar with, we got Cortez Allen and uh, Andre Roberts right here playing for the Steelers and for the Cardinals. Okay, so this is the second floor of Cygnus. Got a little TV right there for uh, Mr. Birch so he can watch a little TV when he's on his off, off time. Uh, what's up, Coach Denny? And, um, over here we have our team pictures, and this is the coaches' pictures. It's got all our coaches and all their families. Okay, welcome to the dog pound. This is our weight room for all our teams. They're, they're here. We got basketball, football, soccer, all our varsity sports, and some of our club sports. Me here, and they get trained by Coach D, Coach Kritsky, and Coach Wright. I know me personally. I've been training under. I'm, it's in my fifth year, so I've been doing this since before I was a freshman. And uh, I really enjoy what Coach D does and the programs that he does for us. He, he obviously tell he knows a lot about what he's talking about, and he really cares about us as players and as people. So I appreciate that. Uh, right here, we got our clean racks. Probably one of my favorite lifts is the power clean. And uh, those are pretty fun. We, we do that. We do our bench right here. We do our shoulder press. A lot of fun stuff right here on the clean racks. Uh, one thing Coach D emphasizes is the importance of, you know, fueling your body and also they keep the chocolate milk for us for, you know, especially people that need to gain weight. Constantly we got chocolate milk programs, they got to come sign in for the chocolate milk and everything. It's pretty serious. I'm going to say what's up, Coach D. What's up, Coach D? What's up, big dog? How's it going? Not too bad. How you doing? Pretty good. Chilling. Good to see you. Good what you up to? folks at home. You know, so you're showing them the palace? Showing them the dog where, pound. Just the show, magic. It's showing where, magic it's, where it all goes down, the, right. the important stuff. That's right. Yes, sir. Enjoy yourself and make some uh, Here's one of our guys that's interning. That's uh, Coach Greenhaw. Uh, keep our free weights on the edges of the weight room. We got free weights here, free weights here, and then free weights back on the other side. And we have extra racks. We normally keep the freshmen over to the right side. And uh, right here we have our top dog starts where, you know, from each team, they have the top lift, the top jumps, the top, you know, times. And then for football, they have it by position and by side of ball. And as you see, you know, F7 big, I got the vertical jump, the power clean, and the squat, the sand, it's the sand. You know, but um, we'll go ahead and head downstairs. Hey, uh, now this is downstairs Cygnus. Uh, first, we're gonna go into the equipment room. You may think we look pretty good on Saturdays. I happen to think we do. And uh, Kevin Yeager, he's behind it all. Equipment room, getting us jerseys, uniforms, pants, cleats, everything, the whole Adidas outfit. Let's go see what he's up to. Hey, what's up, Keith? Hey. How you doing, man? How's it going? Good. Come on in. We got Will and Nick here working, uh, working on some game cloth. Had some stains from all that grass down there at that game. Okay, we got Caleb, one of our head equipment guys, working on helmets. This is the guy that normally hangs out with us during practice, the old lineman, so get pretty close to him. Always popping snaps off of stuff, banging. Come on back in the cage. Got spare helmets over here in case we uh, have any break during the uh, season. Classic. Get that. A lot of our, a lot of our travel gear, um, cubbies for players, uh, spare cleats for game, spare practice. All right, back here this is where we hang up all the unis. Uh, we got old practice stuff back there. These are our away jerseys right here. These are the ones most of our fans are most used to seeing. Our, uh, our Citadel Blue, and uh, got extra cleats up here. Always running through those. Got our two 
buying bottles over here. <laughs> Look like monsters. Thought I was Don Jerry for a second. <laughs> yeah. All right, now this is how we get all our stuff for practice, workouts, whatever. We have a loop system. Everything's on a loop. Turn the loops into the bin. Then loops get washed. Loops go right back in our bins. Just take them out, take what you need, get on the work. And this right here, this is our locker room. Uh, we spend a lot of time in here before practice, uh, right before games, before we head down to the stadium. Okay, so now we've seen Mr. Yeager and uh, how we get to look good on Saturdays and even during practice. But now let's head to the training room where they keep us feeling good so we can play. Okay, so also downstairs signals. We got the equipment room, locker room, training room, all interconnected. Over to the left we have our training tables where a lot of times we get taped and tape wrapped, all that kind of stuff handled before practice. Uh, we got lotion and all that kind of stuff for cuts and skin, handle that right there. Um, got a scale right here. You see a lot of guys got to keep up with their weights. Don't got one guy losing weight during the season, so that's kind of important. Um, we got tables. These tables are actually pretty new. Like a few years, a couple years ago, we didn't have the ones with the cushions, so these are really nice, especially you got, got to come and get heat or ice and take a nice little nap while you're doing that. I know I take advantage of that all the time. Um, over here, we have the hydro track, which I got very well acquainted with back when I was recovering from my Achilles tear. And uh, I spend 45 minutes at a time in there just walking or jogging. I mean, it, it was a love-hate relationship, definitely, but uh, I, grew to, I grew to enjoy it because I knew it, it was for a purpose. There's a lot of things in here you don't like, but you know you got to do it because you want to play. All right, right here, this, this is probably the thing I hate the most in the training room, are the whirlpools. Basically, you get them really cold, you throw a lot of ice in there, and then you stick your hand, your foot, your leg, whatever, and it's just always moving, and um, yeah, they suck, they, they suck. So, Andy, how's it going? How are you today, King? Pretty good. All right? Yes, sir. Moving and grooving. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, y'all. We getting that everything done, showing her, the, showing her around? Yeah, doing pretty well. This was your home away from home for about six months. It was, it was. <laughs> I was just telling them that. Yeah. All right, well, y'all take care. Have a good day. Yes, sir. All right, so now you've had the behind the scenes tours. You know what goes on at Signia Saw. Downstairs, upstairs, training room, equipment room, locker room, weight room, meeting room. That's it. Uh, so we have a, this is our bye week. No game this week, but next week we're back on the road versus UT Chattanooga at Chattanooga. Uh, after that, we have two home games left in the season, so we definitely want your support. Uh, go dogs.